Yo, what's good, family? So, mash the like button, subscribe, and lick off the bell. So, we got some unfortunate news right now concerning the topic I've been following over the last few days between Caleb Plant Pot and David Bumavides Jr. Well, tell I, you know what? For this video, at least, David Bumavides has earned his real name back. Yeah, David. Benavides, because in an interview with Boxing Scene, David Benavides Sr., so obviously Junior's Pops, has leaked some information, has leaked some negotiation information between the Caleb Plant Pot camp and themselves. So let me read out the news article from Boxing Scene. It said, it's no secret that Team Benavides have long wanted a fight against Plant, especially when Plant still held on to his IBF title. There may be actual traction to the trash talk this time around. Benavides Sr. said he met with Plant's manager, Luis de Cubas, shortly after Plant fired off his latest barb at Benavides, noting that they already had been discussing a fight with each other. It came out of the blue, Benavidez said of Plant's recent beef and comments. That's why I got together with Luis de Cubas yesterday. We sat down and spoke. We agree it's in process right now. We're trying to make the fight happen. It shouldn't be hard. We share the same promotional company. He, Plant, wants to fight. We want to fight. Indeed, on paper, a deal should be relatively easy to make, given that both fighters operate under the PBC umbrella. Moreover, both fighters need a top-flight opponent. Benavidez recently lost out on a chance to face Alvarez in the full, and Plant is coming off an 11th round knockout against Alvarez last November. Benavidez Sr., however, has put the onus on Plant on whether or not the anticipated fight will happen in the fall. Hopefully, the guy doesn't back out, Benavidez Sr. continued. If he's really serious, I don't think he's serious. We are 100% serious. We're just waiting for him. Should his son come out victorious, as he's, as he's expected to, against David Lebum? Benavidez Sr. sees no reason why the plant fight can't be next. We want to make the plant fight in September. Regardless of what happens, David is going to win on May 21st. Benavidez Sr. sees an impressive win over plant as a potential stepping stone to a future clash with Alvarez. If we can stop him earlier than he did against Canelo, that's good for us. He's a good fighter, he's dangerous, he moves around, he's got good boxing skills. We want to make a good statement. So you heard there from Benavidez Sr. leaking the information about negotiations and their intentions. Now, before I drop the bombshell here, because you best believe there's a bombshell coming, I want to say that, I mean, fair play. Team Benavidez did what I say most people should do. We, these days we see way too much woofing on the internet and I think to myself why are these guys gassing on the internet and not putting the call in so allegedly well I believe I believe Benavides Benavides rather than woof on the internet he actually reached out to plant's manager so what happened from there we're gonna find out now in an updated boxing scene article this came out team Benavides has reached out to team plant and unfortunately Caleb Plant has declined to fight David Benavidez September 2022, claimed Benavidez Sr. David is willing to make the best fight happen for the fans. Unfortunately, the fighters who the fans want to see do not want to fight. Oops. Wow. So, all this, all this hype from your man's Caleb Plant pop, and I should have known. I should have known the minute, yeah, the minute I saw, about three, four days ago, yeah, an article came out between, it was about, what was it, uh, what's the guy's name, 
Not Andre, the other one. Either way, it don't matter who the guy is. The bottom line is, a few days ago, an article came out and it was advertising a fight between Plant and Anthony Durrell. And I said at the time, there's no coincidences in this game. Yeah? PBC aren't stupid. They use these beefs. They know, as far as people's names ringing goes, Caleb Plant's name is ringing the most it has done in a while. That's what social media beefs do. It gets your name buzzing. Um, within that period of his name buzzing, all of a sudden, the rumours start swirling out of nowhere. Oh, he's going to fight Anthony Durrell. So that's why anyone wondering what happened to the fight between Benavidez and Plant, that's what happened to it. He decided to fight a bum. Now, I'm not going to let Benavidez off because really, why is he fighting David Lemu? That's the question. Why couldn't they have made this fight before? Because Benavidez isn't fighting until May 21st. So, if you're fighting May 21st, the six-month ban Plant had, that's fine. He could have fought, if that makes sense. Yeah, that could be the fight. Your man, in fact, your man's Benavidez could have said, okay, well, I'm going to fight a crap fight against some old washed dude called David Lemu in May 21st, rather than do that, why don't we delay that fight a month, six weeks, eight weeks, and fight Plant in May, June, or July? That's what should have happened. But when Plant, when Plant and Benavidez didn't have no fight, this happens every time. I mentioned it in my last video. Every time these guys don't have no fights, yeah, they'll pick on someone, or they'll try and pick on someone, like Canelo, who does have a fight, or who does have other plans. That's what they do, yeah. Canelo's booked up, so they'll talk about Can Canelo. C they'll talk about Canelo knowing they ain't got a prayer of having that fight. Rather than try and make fights that are realistic when they both have their calendars open, they'll just be, you know what I mean, talking about things that are relevant. Why has the Lemu fight been made? Why weren't PBC doing all of this stuff? Why wasn't David Benavidez Senior doing all this reaching out? Before this crap fight got made. That's the question we want to know. And yeah, to some extent, I respect Benavidez Sr. for reaching out. But it's like, six months too late. Or three months too late. Because from what I understand, this Benavidez versus Lemieux fight, that's only been made in the last few months or six weeks or eight weeks or whatever. So it begs the question, why, were you, why couldn't you make this fight instead? Look at Demetrius Andre. Now I'm not sure exactly that that situation is slightly different because it's the zone. But all this woofing Benavidez's been doing, and he's fighting Lemu. And I wouldn't mind, but we don't know really the ins and outs of it. And what I suggest, if I was managing a fighter, yeah, any com any communications we have, I'd be telling people. Just sent an email to Demetrius Andre. We want this fight. Just sent an email. Do you understand? That's what should be happening right now. Every single time, so everyone's clear. Otherwise, it, it's a bad. It's a bad look. For example, I've got. I've genuinely. I actually haven't got much problem with Benavidez fighting David. David Lemu. If it was the case that he tried to make Andre, he tried to make Charlo, he tried to make Plant, and they all didn't want it. I'd get that. What else can you do? But we don't have that transparency, uh, transparency, and I find it odd. Because think about it, if you was doing that, why wouldn't you make it clear that you that you try to make these fights? They don't. They just kind of, oh, well, I called him out on, yeah, that's the kind of thing. They, oh, well, I called him out on Instagram, so he didn't want it, what? <laughs> Calling someone out on Instagram and getting your team to send an offer in or really reach out, completely different things. Oh, yeah, he don't want it. How do you know he don't want it? Well, uh... He didn't reply to my tweet. What? It's weird. And it's suspect. And I've said it again and again and again. My other beef is, is the fact that both of these guys, they never have a problem getting in there with some random scrub. Yeah? When they're fighting a scrub, the fight gets made instantly. And I understand to some extent that bigger fights are harder to make, but I'm sorry. It, it, it ain't this hard to make, especially when both teams aren't reaching out. How you can't make? Listen, you can't make a fight if you ain't reaching out. 
Yeah, <laughs> that's what you both need to get in your head. <laughs> oh, we can't make the fight. Well, you ain't even tried. You've just, you've just jumped in, and it's not just these guys. Most people, most ninety nine percent of fighters, they they love to fight bum fights, and I think to an extent, it's a problem with the sport at the moment. At the moment, yeah. Look at Javonta Tank Davis. Look at most of these cats. David Benavidez, yeah, will be getting paid a million dollars, you know. And he, let's say even let's say it's even less. Let's say Benavidez, yeah, is getting paid five hundred grand, which is guaranteed. Benavidez, no way Benavidez is getting less than five hundred grand. Just think about that for a second. David Benavidez is getting five hundred grand. That's twenty times. 20, 15, 10, 15, 20 times more than the average person makes in a year. Benavides is making that really for eight weeks work at the, at the most. Yeah. Not even, it's not even eight weeks worse. Most people, yeah, who enjoy sport, they, they train their sport and have a job. Do you understand? So it's mad. Benavides is getting paid 500 grand, 500 to a million dollars. To fight an, a fight he knows he's going to win. That's the problem with the sport. Because to these guys, they're thinking, wait a minute, I'm making big money. Huge money. I'm making top 0.1% money. Fighting fights I know I can win. Why would I go in there and take a hard fight? And that's the problem. And it should be fixed. What I don't know why. I don't know what's happened. I don't know how it got to this point. Because back in the 70s, yeah... Fight, the reason big fights were much more likely to happen, I, I don't remember. I wasn't there, obviously, but looking at history, there wasn't a whole heap of big fights that didn't happen. Why? Because there wasn't the money. These, the, the big names back then, you couldn't get paid big money. You couldn't get paid 500 grand or a million dollars to fight a scrub. You got paid like a scrub fighting scrubs, and rightfully so. These days, it's all back to front. We need to go back to the old days where, listen, Benavidez versus Lemu, both men should get about 20 grand. Sorry, Benavidez should get 20, 30 grand at the most, yeah? And be grateful for that as well. 20, 30 grand, that's what that fight's worth. And then, I'm, I'm, listen, no one's, no one's got a problem with them being properly paid for big fights. Yeah, if you're going to make 10, 15, 20 million to fight, or if, you, yeah, if you're going to make 5, 10 million to fight Plant, so be it. No one's got a problem with that. But for Lemu, you get 20 grand. And that's the only way I can see things fixing up real quick. Because you best believe, you, 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 man, you man would be shocked here how quickly these cats end up in the ring. If, it, if that's how it was, do you understand? If Benavidez was only getting 20, 30 grand, which is still a lot of money. But if he was only getting that, he'd be straight in there with Plant. You wouldn't believe how quick they're in the ring with Plant. But think about it. Plant sitting there thinking, alright, I've just had my cheek bust by Alvarez. Do I really want to go in there and have another hard fight? Or oh, I can pick up some easy 500 grand, easy mil, fighting a washed up dude. And I'm, I'm thinking about myself now, even in my own head. It's, and it's difficult. That's why people can't be trusted. I'm not even sure, I'm not even sure I'd do any different, to be quite frank. If you can pick up a free 500 grand or a free million, why wouldn't you? And that's the problem, it's not their fault. The system, needs, the system must change. It must change. I'm not sure how you do it. And that's why, to an extent, yeah, people slag off the UFC and say, oh, the UFC don't pay their fighters properly, listen. <laughs> UFC fights happen. That's what you best believe. So I'm sorry, all this knocking, trying to knock Dana, Dana has a system that works. And it, I'm sorry, but look, even look at McGregor. McGregor, to an extent, broke the system, as in he, he, McGregor surpassed the system. McGregor transcended transcended the system. And look how his career's gone. McGregor's career has gone like the typical boxer. He fights once every five years. He, he picks and chooses. He don't fight the best. He's all over the place. Because he, he gets paid exorbitant amounts of money. And it's unfortunate, but it's the truth. Even Floyd Mayweather. Look at Floyd. Floyd didn't really ever fight the best towards the end of his career he was just picking up massive checks not doing a lot fighting b-level dudes he wasn't fighting the spencers was he Let's be real now uh, floyd mayweather got what he said oh i ain't fighting the, the hard fights i'm fighting it just picking up checks because he was allowed to do it the ufc model needs to be brought in bottom line
Because let's call a spare spade here. People are crying about, oh, not, they're not being paid properly. Listen, they're being paid more than everyone else is for, for eight weeks' work, yeah? Who, who, who else you know getting paid? I mean, at the, at, at the very bottom of the UFC, yeah, I believe it's something like, what is it? I don't know. Was it, what is it? 15 to win? And 15, no, 15 to turn up and 15 to win. Something like that. That's 30 grand. Let's say you can only fight once every... That's 30 grand. Even if it's 10 to win and 10 to turn up. And let's say you're going to win and lose half, half the time. That's 15 grand on, on average. That's 15 grand you can make every three months. That's 60 grand. Who making that? The average is 30. So what's the problem with that? And you get to do something you love every day. I'm sorry. And, and all the other things you get on the bonuses. Like you get your, tra your travels paid for and all this other stuff you get as a bonus. So the model works. Yeah. It works. It delivers. That's what we need to go. That somehow. And I remember Dana White hinting he was going to enter the sport of boxing he needs to we need someone like dana now to come in and just gobble up all that extra coin because you man ain't using it you know what i mean it's not like you can say well why be they're getting paid a lot and they're delivering and they're not they're getting paid a lot to fight bums and it's not good 